This program is part of the Cosmic Potato Podcast Network. For more shows like this, visit our website at CosmicPotato.com. Watching television, watching television. Watching television, watching television. I need all the image, I need all the sound. I know the info right into my mind. Hey everybody, welcome back to Trial by Pilot. This is the show where we judge an entire series of television and the work of hundreds on one episode. I'm Bill Lynch. I'm Elizabeth Lynch. And I'm Casey Lynch. Hey guys. Hey. Hey. How you guys been? Oh, good. (laughs) Whatever. (laughs) God. I can't complain. How do podcasts do small talk if there's like really just nothing driving it? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Tonight we're talking about Stumptown on ABC. Uh, real quick, I mentioned this last episode as well. Our 100th episode is coming up soon. So it's coming up. <laughs> send in your ideas for TV related <laughs> segments um, for our 100th oh, episode. You know what we could do is we could all, we could like show up that, that day to record, but like dressed as, as a hundred year old person. Like they do for the hundredth day of school, like you dress like an old person, or we can make shirts that have like a hundred things on them. A <laughs> hundred things? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> That's what they do in schools when they celebrate the hundredth day of school. Like kids make T-shirts and they like glue a hundred buttons. To, to be fair, that would be really good for our audio podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Almost as good as dressing up as an old person. <laughs> That's what they do. I have never heard of either of those things. We never, we what never we... did it. But I have been teaching that... in school, like after school programs. Like I've been there on the hundredth day. It's and just it's a big deal. It's just surprising that we would have never done also, it because ever my class was like so full of school spirit. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> so I feel like we would have been into that. Editors note: Bill had the worst class ever. <laughs> Editors. <laughs> Yeah, I'm an editor. Oh, I'm is editing. it editor's note? Oh, are you editing this episode? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this will probably get cut because the editor is Bill. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so send us your ideas. Um, we'll use them or we'll use them for our two-year show or whatever. We do our top 100 shows. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That's going to be a long episode. That's so many shows. We can just go one, really quick two, and see how three. many line up. <laughs> <laughs> Were there any games we can play? TV related games? We'll, we'll think of stuff. All right. I still want to do a Futurama quiz. <laughs> maybe, we'll, maybe we'll do it then. Oh Futurama, Friends, and whatever dumb shows you guys like. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Although I just said two shows that you <laughs> like that I also like. Well, this is also not good um, audio, but like when. What's that game that you put it on your head and you have oh, to. Oh, Heads Up. Heads up. Oh. Same. Um, and do this. Yeah. Mm hmm. You're right. Yeah, TV shows. On a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would be fun for us. <laughs> I mean, we could just, like, do it. <laughs> we could do just something similar that doesn't have a visual component. Yeah. yeah. We'll figure something Well, you out. know what we could do is, like, we will be playing that, but then, like, afterwards, when you go back and edit it, you whisper it before it comes in. Like, so the show knows, friends. Oh. Well, and I, then... I could just go back and not whisper it and edit it in. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have you have to no, if I'm just recording because, it by myself, because then it feels... she thinks we'll hear it through the editing <laughs> no, process. The audience feels like they're in on the joke. Like, sure. oh, okay. Like, Casey's got to guess friends, you know? <laughs> All right, shh, I won't tell him. All right, maybe. Like that that sounds of... like a lot of work for me. Yeah, I, I like the idea where we just do, like, <laughs> trivia against each other. <laughs> and oh, doesn't, we can do some TV trivia. And it doesn't have that weird <laughs> Billy having to go in and edit every answer. <laughs> Guys, just so you know, the upcoming answer to this question is James Gandolfini. <laughs> All right. Stumptown. All right. Oh, right. Now, I had heard of this show because I also had heard of Stumptown Coffee. <gasps> oh, I never heard of that. I have. Have you ever had it? <laughs> I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Um, huh? Stumptown oh. on ABC stars Kobe Smolders. Why do they call it Stumptown? They Bill? call it Stumptown because <laughs> <laughs> uh, they had chopped down tons of land 
in the Portland area. They chopped down land? They <laughs> chopped down. <laughs> I wasn't going to call him on it, but I was like, what an idiot. <laughs> they chopped down tons of land. They chopped down a ton of trees and they like didn't have the funds to pull out all the stumps. And so it was just this landscape of a bunch of tree stumps. And so they called it Stump Town. Ah, uh, nice. Sounds beautiful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Better uh, than Dump Town. <laughs> is it? <laughs> but not quite as good as Hump Town. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was trying to do the Pam Poovy uh, for oh. the burrito. Thing. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> um, so we start this pilot <gasps> with. <laughs> <laughs> We're not even drinking tonight. No. <laughs> um, uh, these two thuggish-looking guys are driving this car, and they're <laughs> drinking coffee and like. Offering up tasting notes. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Uh, <laughs> and then somehow, somehow, I guess maybe they hit a pothole or something, and the tape gets stuck in the tape deck, mm-hmm. and Sweet Caroline starts playing. Um, we also hear like banging in the trunks. So, like clearly, they have somebody, yeah, aka Kobe Smolders in the trunk. And as they're swinging, oh, the dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as they're singing Sweet Caroline, uh, this like little hose comes out from the back seat, mm-hmm. from the trunk into the back seat, and Fills the car with uh, extinguisher fluid, yeah. whatever they call it. She breaks out into the back seat, and there is a ridiculous fight where she like has the driver with like the seat belt around mm-hmm. his neck. She has like pushed up the seat of the passenger and is like kicking him into yeah. the dashboard. It's insane. And then as they're fighting, <laughs> they go off this ramp, uh-huh. fucking fly what? into the air. Yeah. They show the interior of the car, and they're, like, lifting out of their seats. Mm-hmm. None of them have seatbelts on, and then they freeze frame. Yeah. So, right. like, obviously, we'll come back to this later. How did you guys feel about that scene? I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> it was... Yeah. It felt goofy on purpose. Like, yeah. very extreme violence, kind yeah. of. And I really liked it. I thought it was funny. Yeah, I, th- I thought it was funny. I have a criticism of it later. That was sure. it, too. Um, but I thought it was funny. Oh, how they landed? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, so, now we see that... It, um, it's three days earlier, mm. and this guy has come up to Kobe Smulders. Uh, her name is Dex in the mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. So he comes up to Dex in this casino, and he's hitting on her, saying he's a, an, a veteran. He was in Afghanistan. And she goes through like this whole long list of like all the reasons that she knows he's bullshitting, yeah. mm-hmm. um, calling him out like, he doesn't know the language that they speak in Afghanistan. His dog tags don't match his credit card. His car key isn't a rental. Mm-hmm. Like, just like rattles him off so quick. Yeah. And like, I don't know. It's yeah. such a cliche, like badass way. Yeah. Yeah. We've just We've seen it seen so that much. We've seen that in a lot of shows we watch. Like, I'm really smart, quick-witted, and like, yeah. I am a detective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of old. It's kind of old. I think only Sherlock can still do that. Yeah, I never watched that. <gasps> but they really try. They but, like, really do try to put this in other shows. Yeah, I know. I feel like with Sherlock, though, it's very, it's more okay because he's, like, fucked up. <laughs> like, he's he's a sociopath, so I was like, oh, okay. He, I, he notices things that other people don't. Now he's just, like, also the most clever guy in the room. Yeah. I, th- I thought... Like, that's I mean, his whole thing. Yeah, yeah. We can talk about this later, too. I thought she was a good choice for this role. Mm-hmm. I'm just tired of this kind of role. Oh, yeah, sure. Like, not were, necessarily in the show, just in this specific there scene. There were definitely parts that I'm like, like that part I was like, oh, okay. Um, did we mention that she um, was one of the stars of How I Met Your Mother? No, but that's interesting no. because we did bring up How I Met Your Mother in the last... Yeah, um, yeah, that's weird. In the last episode. Yeah. Did you ever watch that? Uh, yeah, a, a yeah, bit. Okay. Um, and she's also been in a bunch of the Marvel movies, but like in a yeah. much smaller oh, way. Oh, really? Works, yeah, she works for S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. So Dex blows all her money at the craps table... And the boss of the casino wants to see her, and we find out the boss is her ex-boyfriend's mom. Mm-hmm. His daughter has gone missing. Um, he actually, we find out later, is dead. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but his daughter is missing, and so the grandma wants her to help find her. Mm-hmm. Um, and Dex owes the casino $11,000, so she tries to like use that as a bargaining chip, but she says she won't do it. She refuses. Yeah. So she goes home to her little brother... Um, who has autism that she's um, living with, mm. I mm-hmm. guess. We, we don't find out where their parents are at, but they're living together. Yeah. And he's he's asking her these questions like, are we going to be okay? I don't remember why he was asking her that. Well, because I think, I think she mentioned something about like that she turned down a job. Like, there oh, was okay. good money, but she turned it down. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. So he asks, are we going to be okay? And then she's like, oh, shit. So she calls back up this casino and agrees to, to take on the job. Mm. She talks to this girl's friend at, I don't know, high school, college, whatever, mm. who's like giving her nothing. But then as Dex is driving away, she sees the girl get on a, on a phone call and like literally just like runs through the bushes and like yanks just the yanks phone the out of her hand. Um, and she finds photos of a hotel. So she goes there, pulls the fire alarm and sees the boy that was in the photo with this girl. Mm. Um, Anita, Nina is the girl's name that was abducted. Yeah. Yeah. And so she busts into the room and Nina's there. So she gets her in her car and they're driving back to the casino. And the girl's like, you're, you're okay doing the same thing that my grandma did to you and my dad. Mm. So like, there's this whole backstory there. They get rear ended and she gets out of the car. Dex does to like check the bumper and she gets sucker punched. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the dudes from the cold open, both, both of them actually. Yeah. And so she's bleeding on the ground. And as she is, she's like, starts to have some flashbacks to the war. Yeah. Um, I guess she was in Afghanistan, mm. too. The guys kidnap Nina, and the cops show up and arrest Dex because she has 14 unpaid parking tickets. Mm -hmm. um, Gotta pay your parking tickets, guys. Yeah, pay it's your always parking gonna get tickets. Ya. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, her friend, played by Jake Johnson, comes to bail her out. Did anyone catch his name? You just said it. <laughs> oh, um, Gray? I don't gray, know. Yes. Oh, gray. So gray. Okay, yeah. Yeah. gray. Whoa, yeah. Casey with the pole. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> um, he's been in a lot of stuff lately. Um, we saw him in New Girl. Mm. He was in New Girl. He's been in Jurassic he World. He was in Easy. Like a couple <laughs> episodes of Easy. Oh, okay. Um, How was he in that? He was like, he is in everything. Well, well I was going to say, he annoyed the fuck out of me in New Girl. And he didn't annoy me in this, at least. Yeah, yeah he, was, he was good in this. He was more like, he was more like this in Easy. Yeah, the character I mean, in New Girl's a little over the top. Right. Yeah, he was more like straight man, side character yeah. in this one. Mm. Yeah, I, I only mentioned it because he didn't really bug me in this yet. Yeah. So Dex gets. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I don't want to hold my hand. I guess. <laughs> it just startled me because I, I put my hand up on the couch <laughs> like, why is he pulling away to like stretch it. Elizabeth's hand was there and I was like, whoa, what the fuck? I just thought it was a happy accident. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Did I say something stupid? No. Okay. Um, so uh, Dex goes back to talk to Nina's boyfriend and eventually gets him to talk. And apparently uh, he knows that the grandmother has this relationship with this gangster who started smuggling drugs onto the reservation and they think maybe somehow it's connected. Mm -hmm. So Dex tracks down this guy at some club and they talk about the girl and exchanging money. And so they go into the alley and the girl ends up being like this super rare car that this guy is selling yeah. on, on the black market. And so Dex just plays along. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize until just now, what are the odds that, this guy is also selling something that he's calling a girl for a lot of money. Yeah, this was very <laughs> and weird. And the kid knew there was a, some problem with drugs in the two families. Yeah. And then Dex just plays along and <laughs> she sees another woman approaching who, like, it looks like is the actual yeah. buyer of the car. So she just peels out and steals the car. <laughs> but, like, why? This bothered me so much because she had nothing to gain from it. She could have just been like, oh, just kidding. I, like, yeah. Why? Like, oh, why I thought this was something else or whatever. Clean. Now she's stolen the car. <laughs> yeah. She's made it very worse. Yeah. Very worse. <laughs> very, very, much very worse. So. <laughs> much bad. Yeah, I thought like drive it around the corner and then leave it. Because <laughs> like, <laughs> then she goes to the casino and she like throws it to uh, the valet and is like, here, keep it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, hold on. This is. I forgot she gave it to the valet. <laughs> yeah. Keep it. Keep it. It's going to get you killed. <laughs> yeah. Good luck this with that. This is actually Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> oh, my uh. gosh. Uh, so she steals the car, and then she gets a call that oh, right. Nina has been returned. Mm -hmm. Which is like, what? Yeah. Uh, and then at some point, she has a bunch of flashbacks again. Um, apparently, she was there when her uh, ex-boyfriend died in Afghanistan. Yeah. And she calls up the cop from before. Um, he's been in other stuff too. Did you look at what what else he was in at some point? I thought you did. 
Who was who was the cop? I don't know. I don't remember his name. Yeah. I'll look. I'll look it up now. Okay. I can't remember. Um, yeah, so I was gonna say I, I definitely have seen him in a ton of stuff. Yeah. So as she's having these flashbacks. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll let me look at his name, but I know what you're talking about. As she's having these flashbacks of Afghanistan, she also has a bunch of flashbacks of like her just hooking up with a ton of dudes. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess that's like her out or her uh, coping mechanism. Michael and, Ely. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And so she calls up this cop for a booty call. They have sex. And then he reveals that he knows that her ex um, had an engagement ring on him when he was hit by the IUD and killed. Yeah. Um, and then Dex finds Nina's file at his place and finds out that there are conflicting stories about where she was dropped off. Mm. Um, and the grandmother wouldn't let the cops talk to her either. Suspicious. Mm. Very much so. Uh, so Dex brings the engagement ring, which she's had for, I don't know, I guess the whole time, mm. um, to the boyfriend at the motel, gives it to him and says, you know, don't make the same mistake we made by waiting. And as she's looking at him, he's like, I guess he's looking upset or like... Yeah, kind of conflicted or... Yeah. Yeah. Like this was a, a nice thing for her to do and... Yeah. And mm. he's like... And then she says, what, do you, what did you do with Nina? And just then the two thugs come out of the bathroom, knock her out and abduct her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we catch up to the cold open. Mm-hmm. This car is flying through the fucking air. Like, you can't see <laughs> yeah. any ground underneath it. It's all also just, like, a piece of rust, basically. Yeah, the car is a piece of shit. Yeah. It was the lamest landing to a jumping car I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, the angle would have you believe it was going to, like, smash into right the ground. Into the, yeah. the entire front end was going to rip off. Mm-hmm. And it just, like, gently hits the ground. <laughs> it, like, landed a flat it's almost. Like, it's like they drove over a curb or something. Yeah. Like, that's how this car landed. Yeah. <laughs> like, barely even that extreme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like... No like, sparks or, like... You yeah, know, nothing hits the nothing ground. Hit the ground. Yeah, there wasn't even a spark. Yeah. Yeah, everyone inside not wearing a seatbelt. Apparently nothing happened to them. Mm-hmm. It was such a letdown after the yeah, ridiculous fight. Yeah, that was corny, yeah. Um, so, the, the, um, Dex finally gets the upper hand, puts both dudes in the trunk... Mm-hmm. Um, but now the cops are chasing her because somebody had called in to the police. Oh, yeah. The cop the brother. called the police. Yeah. Like, you know, this is the car she's been abducted in. Um, so she's heading to the swap where the boyfriend has given back Nina for a ton of money, mm-hmm. um, but then pulls out a gun. And <laughs> this confused me, too. Like what he was doing. Why? Like, I mean, he does. Lo- he does love her. Right? Like, they really were together in the beginning. So yeah. why is he pulling out a gun like he's going to kill her? I guess he's just... I don't know. Sweet, sweet paper. So he's, like, obviously just a piece of shit. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Unless he was faking it the whole time to just kidnap her. Weird. Yeah. I, I don't know what he was doing. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but then we hear uh, sirens, and the boyfriend starts, like, running away as Dex pulls into this lot and like pulls up alongside of him and knocks him over with the car door. Uh-huh. Um, and then all the cops pull in, catch all the bad guys. And then we're back at the bar where Gray works and the cop offers to hook Dex up with a guy he knows who does a lot of PI work. And so he gives her his card and that's where we end the episode. It's true. The Will end. she take the job? Mm, yes. Wonder, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what did you guys think of Stomp Town, America's number one new show of fall 2019? <laughs> 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 I'm willing to guess I probably liked it the most. Look, at, I didn't hate it. Yeah. There were some elements that were stupid. Yeah. Uh, but for, for the most part, I thought it was just like a fun little, uh, little love. Uh, cop type show yeah yeah it was a fun little romp. Like a little different you know not super unique or anything but not yeah the same old crap yeah um, I, I honestly want to do i'm sorry were you done i just like, oh, yeah, interrupted no, you okay it's fine. um i honestly wanted to do this show because i thought it was going to be like really really stupid mm-hmm. yeah the commercials made it look so stupid i was like oh here we go <sighs> I will say there is a commercial for like the upcoming episodes where a Jeep backs out of a uh, spot, a parking spot. And Dex is like underneath the Jeep. Like, oh, yeah, maybe she was planting a bug or something. But the Jeep is backing out facing her like you would fucking would, see her lying in the parking spot. I, I, I thought that that's what I saw. And I was like questioning it in my own head. And then yeah. I saw the preview again. I was like, no, the fucking Jeep is facing her. 
It's so stupid. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Um, that, that vi- I did see that, though, but then that visual looks very weird. <laughs> oh, I don't. I did not see this. Well, it, I, it would be funny, though, if they backed out and then saw her and they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, shit. We'll have to tune in, I've guys, to see how that, <laughs> yeah, how that yeah. ends. But I honestly thought it was going to be so stupid and that I wasn't going to like it and I was going to compare it to... Um, careful maybe not <laughs> somewhere in between whiskey cavalier and blood and treasure like i thought it was going to be like yeah, something kind of sure. stupid yeah um and i have some complaints but i kind of liked it like, it <laughs> yes. really wasn't that bad i thought she was really good i really didn't like that first her first line like her first opening thing where she's like telling the guy like your dog tags don't match your credit card yeah. which like yeah, no one tired. can see someone's credit card and their dog tags like just by sitting next to them you know yeah. like that annoying unless shtick. the names are like so insanely different you're not yeah, picking yeah. up on that that yeah. quickly you're not like looking that closely like dog tags you have to like look at yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. you know so anyway i thought that was a little dumb and i didn't love we didn't really talk about this too much but the car like in the beginning he like they went over a bump and like this tape got stuck in there and started yes. playing Sweet Caroline. You said that, right? Yeah. So it's a kind of a thing with this car. It's kind of like a character, I guess, if you will, where like <laughs> every time something like that happens, she like bought it, bought the car with that tape stuck in there. Yeah. And so every now and then it'll come on and it's like all these, I can't remember what some of the other songs were. I can't either. Tiffany was one of them. Yeah. Because made me think of Umbrella Academy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tiffany yes, was one of them. Oh, that's, that's where right. I knew that song from. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um... So there's just like these old like seventies, eighties yeah. songs playing yeah. and and it was I guess kind of funny, but then it just seemed like overdone. I mean they played like five songs in this episode. They did play quite a where bit. Where I was like, this is a kind of a lot. Like it's not that funny anymore. She said that she bought the car with the tape like that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I I must have missed that or forgotten that because I was thinking like, oh, maybe it's like the mixtape her boyfriend gave her when yeah, they were in it came college. Like that. Okay, okay. It just came like that. No, less interesting then. So sure. I, I just was like, you know, I guess kind of like something that makes her a little bit more quirky too. Like she just has this like old beat up car. It's like yeah. part of her personality, but like. Yeah, how long can you do that shtick? Yeah, it just mm. was a little played out. Yeah. Um. So that was a complaint that I had, but. I really, really expected to hate it, and I didn't. I thought it was actually pretty well done, and the acting was really good. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess I would recommend it. Whoa. Oh, sorry, am I jumping the gun? You didn't even weigh in yet. Yeah, Jizz Louise. Um, Jizz Louise? <laughs> Jizz Louise. <laughs> Gross. That's not what I said. What did you think I said? What? What did you think I said? What? When I said Jizz Louise. What? What did you think I said? <laughs> Um, what did you think I said? <laughs> <laughs> don't make me say it. I, all right, I, I really don't know, so I'll have to ask you off off mic. I thought you said jizz. Oh. Yeah, it definitely said like jizz Louise. <laughs> jizz Louise. Yeah. I'm like, how is he not getting that? He's uh-huh. like, oh, I just said jizz Louise. What did you think I said? Jizz Louise. Jizz Louise. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Yeah, jizz yeah. Louise. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it's just my accent, you guys. <laughs> A daughter, a j- a j- daughter. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah i was entertained mm-hmm. um i thought the performances were all good i yeah. thought i thought she was good jake johnson the cop that's all that really matters right who else yeah. was there yep uh, well, her brother the her brother, brother showed up a few times too yeah. he's like pretty close with gray Mm-hmm. Uh, the guy who owns he, like, the works bar. there or something. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, he was good. The a, thugs a were good. Relationship. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was fine. I was entertained. I'm just so tired of this trope. Mm-hmm. Like the, the pe- hot badass like, lady. The hot badass yeah. lady who's a PI trope. Yeah. Um, I don't mind it. It's just this Casey's thing, <laughs> the hot badass lady. Yeah. It's just, it's just not that interesting, and we've seen it done so many times. Sure. And like, there's only so many ways you can do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's nothing new, but she's just good at it. She is. Yeah, she so is. it's kind of okay. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely gonna watch this. Um. <laughs> Even Nina, who you know she's a teenager, and like maybe she doesn't really come up in future episodes like maybe she was just in this one she's not like a 
steady character. Yeah. But she wasn't like a dumb teenage girl who was like, right. You took me away from my boyfriend. Like she was, had a, she was a good actor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a good performance. So yeah, I don't really have any complaints about any of the acting that I can think of. Mm Mm-mm. Um, no, yeah, no, no not yeah, really. Usually there's like at least one standout, like yeah, terrible performance, but yeah, everyone was good. This mm-hmm. was good. Yeah. Where do you go, Stumptown? Wow, yeah. Stumptown. <laughs> um, so do you recommend this show? I was waiting for you to say it. Oh. If you like this sort of thing. I no, I'm, I do. I don't do that anymore. I know. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> it has. Um, yeah, I do. I, I mean, I mean it. If this is like the kind of show that you like, then yeah. If you yeah. like cop type show pi type show this was one of the better ones we've seen i think yeah. we've seen like seven or eight or something at <laughs> yeah. this point yeah, this was one of the better ones for sure light-hearted yeah fun. it Light-hearted. definitely lives in that same world as all those shows you mentioned before yeah whiskey tango whiskey cavalier whiskey cavalier oh, i always do that yeah just a, yeah. a great great show what's <laughs> the one what's the one we watched with with uh rachel bilson that was so bad take two take two, take two. oh <laughs> yes Another one in this yeah. genre. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, we really... I, I was, wasn't kidding. We really have watched like seven or eight of these. <laughs> that one was bad. Yeah, that was street crap. That was canceled. Yeah, thank goodness. Um, uh, yeah, so same same thing as these guys said. If you're looking for a, like a PI show, um, like, you know, mystery of the week kind of thing or case of the week, I'm sure it'll yeah. be. Yeah. But like, you know, it's a little bit goofy campy mm-hmm. in parts. And, um, and the goofiness is, is done well. Yeah, it was. Where it's like yeah. very clear, like they wanted a little bit of silliness mm-hmm. um, and it didn't suck. Yeah. Yeah. And I did appreciate the fact, you know, we were criticizing it for <laughs> the way she acted in the beginning. Mm. But then like she's clearly capable. She was in the military. She yeah. can like kick ass. But she also got like jumped by two dudes and like got the shit kicked out of her for like yeah, a second. Because yeah. they jumped her from behind. Because it was two dudes. Yeah. And yeah. Just jumped her. So yeah, it was yeah, good. No. Uh, I don't think i'll go out of my way to watch it mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. because there's so much tv like we always complain about um god there's so much fun there's like so much content to consume um but yeah it was good i have a question sure before i ask if it will win any emmys which i no. i don't think it will but which do you think was worse take two or blood, blood and, and treasure, treasure? Casey even, didn't even let me finish the sentence I knew he, he answered like, yet. I knew you were going to say Blood and Treasure. <laughs> even if I enjoyed Blood and Treasure more, it was ironically... Well, that was my question. Okay. Worse as in, like, technically worse, or worse as in we didn't enjoy it as much? Blood and Treasure was definitely technically worse. Yes. Yeah. But, but also we enjoyed it more. But we enjoyed it more. Because it was technically worse. Because it was <laughs> it was much more stupid. Um, yeah, at least there was something to talk about. Yeah, Take, Take Two, two was, was just, just boring. like, boring. Yeah. It's so boring. Um... <laughs> that's what we should do for our 100th episode is try and like pit shows against each other like which is better which is worse yeah I mean, it's gonna that. take a lot of work to do that but yeah, yeah. Well, we yeah. can each take a couple yeah i was thinking yeah. how we can like do something with the tv shows we've already watched like what if we just take a week and watch all of the shows again oh my god oh my all god again? Yeah. could you imagine <sighs> i call rise damn it <laughs> oh we could do that we'd do our first episode again oh we could that'd be fun do we really I don't want to watch, watch Rise again? again. <laughs> it was so. Funny. It's can- it was canceled, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did not get a second season. Thank goodness. Um, all right. Any other thoughts on? It's a shame it's not still on. Then we could just we we watch the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> any other thoughts on Stump Town? No. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. That's about it. Go watch it. Or not. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. But this is like first. A... Bill, I was gonna email us yeah. <laughs> at trialbypilot at gmail.com <laughs> if you have suggestions on other shows for us to watch. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Trial by Pilot. And thank you to the Beats for providing our theme music. I don't like that I stole that from you because I don't want to do it every time. <laughs> no, I was like handing it off to you. No, I know, but now, now I like have to say it every time because you expect it of me. No, I don't. I'll say it next That's time. That's good. People, people shouldn't expect too much from me. <laughs> well, if you're still listening, bye. <laughs> See you. Watching television, watching television. Watching television, watching television.